hi grade 10 students so in today's video we are going to do our first video for term 2 so the topic that i choose for term 2 that we are going to start with is a salary journal the reason why i started with this topic guys is because i just realized that in most question papers there is no way that you will never find this kind of question so salary and wages general guys take it more seriously because uh, once you understand it it's very simple okay and you can in a free max all right let's look at the question paper and quickly answer remember is the first one obviously we have to start with a basic question so that you will be able to understand the different okay uh, question 2.1.1 they say that use the information provided below and answer the following question. 2.1.1. They said list two different between salaries and wages. They want us to, to write down what is the difference between salaries and wages. Okay, that's what we are going to do. Uh, salaries and this side. Let's just write it in this way so that it can be easy for us. Okay this side is wages so we want to know what is the difference between these two number one is that when it comes to salary salary is paid monthly okay while wages is paid weekly so in other words guys if you, you we are saying that you are earning a salary you are going to get it after a month or each and every month end wages you are going to be paid normally every friday so that's the first difference between these two and the second difference guys uh, under salary you are going to be paid a fixed amount a fixed amount if they're saying that your salary is ten thousand it's going to be ten thousand every month but this side of wages guys you are paid per per work if you don't work you're not going to be paid or per hour that's how these two differ this one remain the same this one is depend on how many hours you have work okay so the other one uh, normally here there is no overtime guys but it's depend on the business but no overtime because amount is always fixed this side obvious there is a what there is overtime okay i give you three but you can choose two all right 2.1.2 to which organization is pay paid pay pay s u n and they say that write in full guys don't say sars you must write in full we know that is sars but here they indicated that you must write in full okay what does SARS stand for? It stands for South Africa Revenue Service. All right. Then the following question What is the difference between deduction and contribution? Then is for marks. All right let's try to lay down this uh, the difference between deduction let's do a table like the first one uh, okay basically here they just wanted a one point we're just gonna start with deduction what is deduction and what is contribution okay we need to answer that okay deduction are subtracted from a salary or wage that the employee has earned you as a worker they are going to deduct some of the amount like the when they deduct tax when they deduct 
a pension fund, a medical aid, they are called a deduction. Contribution are contributed by employer. Employer is like a boss, ne? the person who has employed you to, to work for a company. Contributed by employer on behalf of employee. It's like a company is saying that uh, from UIF that you are contributing, they are also going to contribute the same amount so that at least during the time of unemployment, uh, the government will be able to give you some cash while you are looking for job. Okay. The next one. Uh, calculate the total number of overtime worked by jo Jonas for the week. Let's look at the information number A and B. Jonas normal time rate is 13 rand per hour and is required to work overtime in 20 rand and uh, 25 cent per hour. The following is an extract from total his wages he in in a week of 18 to 22. In other words, he worked for only two weeks uh, during April. They give us normal time overtime, total wage. A deduction, medical aid, and patient fund. Okay. The question again. Calculate the total number of overtime. How many over, overtime uh, hours that he have worked? In order to get this, guys, uh, we, have, we have to calculate it as a balancing figure. But we can't calculate as a balancing figure because normal time, they give us hours. But in total, they give us rent. Which means that we must first get a rent. Okay. How much uh, this person earn in, in normal time? He worked for 32 hours, which we have to multiply by the rate of how much? Of 13 rand 50 of normal time. Then you are going to get uh, 432. This is the amount of what, guys? Of normal time. Remember the total they said is 675. So we have to calculate over time. <clears throat> okay. This is normal time. Over time. Uh, is a question mark. But we know that total is how much? Is 675. Which means that we can calculate this one as a balancing figure. This one minus this will give us this. Which is going to be how much? Uh, 243 uh, 243 which means that now it's simple because we have rendered remember the question said hours which means that because we have uh, this total of 243 we know that we have to divide it by the rate of how much um, over time rate is 20 run and 25 then it's gonna give us hours which is 12 hours. Very simple. That's how we calculate this one. Okay, the next one. Name the statutory or legal deduction that has not been made uh, from Jonas wages. Do not abbreviate. You must write in full. If you check under deduction, we have medical aid and pension fund only. Guys, UIF is a must. The, the answer for this one. Uh, okay, let me wrap on top because this one we might need it. Okay, UIF guys, every employee must pay UIF. It must be deducted. Okay. Our answer for 2.1.5 is UIF. Okay, 2.1.6. Um, refer to 2.1.5. How much will be deducted from Jonas? Guys, UIF is always 1% of basic salary. So a basic salary of this person, uh, we know it, is 432, the one that we calculated. 432, which means that you just multiply by this 1%, they will never give you on the answer book or on the question paper. You must know that UIF is 1% when you go to exam. They will never provide that. 
Okay, then the answer will give us 432. Okay, 2.1.7. Uh, not a two, guys. This question it was question five, but otherwise, as long as you can see where I'm reading, five point one point seven. I refer to question five point one point five. You are F still. They say that how much is owed to the Department of Labor at the end of the month? Remember, guys, this person work for only how many weeks? Two weeks, and this amount is for two weeks. 432 or what we can do we can just take 432 of one week and we multiply by two weeks that he worked for and it's gonna give you 864 very simple okay the next one uh, I think this was the last question so guys remember our extra class uh, they are still on. Come and join Great Ten Student. They attend every Monday and Thursday. So just make sure that you text us on WhatsApp. Join in time because exam is approaching, guys. You must prepare yourself uh, so that you will never face any trouble uh, when it comes to accounting. And also, guys, those who are coming here for the first time, subscribe. Let's push this channel. We want to make sure that by December, we must be celebrating 100,000 subscribers. So it's possible, guys. Just make sure that you subscribe. Let's keep watching. Go to playlist and watch other videos as well. Uh, because every chapter that you are going to write in term 2, term 3, term 4, everything is there. Some of them, we're going to upload them. If you subscribe to this channel, you're just going to see them. I will see you on the next video.